There are those days, aren't there, where you feel like you're swamped and you don't know where to start on your checklist of things to do for the week. How do you get started and more importantly, how do you stay started? Right, today I wanted to look at this book review of Getting Things Done by David Allen, one of the most famous or popular productivity books around. And this book was published in 2015 uh, with a brand new edition and today I wanted to look at the three lessons that might be relevant for you in your own productivity journey but more importantly for you in your own journey towards better, more wholesome and more fulfilling work. Well, the first advice that might be useful for you is David Allen's two-minute rule. If anything takes less than two minutes to accomplish, then just do it. Maybe today on your to-do list, you have all these small little tasks, right? Where you write down, message X about X. Maybe message your marketing director about the new update to the campaign. If it takes less than two minutes, then just do it. The usefulness of this advice is that it helps you to stop chalking up your to-do list with things that are very easily done and it keeps your head free. The next thing that David Allen in his great book recommends is this idea of having a mind split. Well, this is not his term, it's my term. A mind split is basically a place where you put down all the things that are on your mind. Take the time to write down every single task, every single project, every single thing that is on your mind at the moment. It can span across every single category of your life from fun to work, to business, to investing, to your finance, to your personal errands. And then that helps you to quickly go through and to clear your mind. Very often we don't know where to start because it's just so hard to know what is even on our minds. And when we start taking out everything that's on our mind and putting it on paper, then it becomes more useful to use our minds for processing thought. And David Allen very clearly in his book talks about how the mind is actually used better as a place for processing thought and not for storing thought. So such a mind split helps you to be clear in your mind about what you can do moving forward. What is even on your mind in the first place? Being aware is the first step. The third thing that David Allen recommends and which I've personally found very useful is to think about your diary as a set of non-negotiable appointments. Today, you might see your calendar as a place to put to-do lists. And there are all these advices around using your calendar to time box a certain tasks that you want to do for the day. David Allen actually warns against this because it, <laughs> in his words, it destroys the integrity of the calendar as a place for set meetings. You no longer trust your calendar because you and I know that every time we put something on a calendar like a task, every time we put like 9 to 10, finish, report, it often takes 9 to 11, 9 to 12, and then we end up getting behind on the rest of our day. We no longer trust our calendar and we no longer think about how we can follow strictly the appointments on it. Well then, what should you do to structure your workday and what will make it better? In David Allen's book, he categorizes tasks according to their different places of activity. So for example, today, if you had different tasks that needed the phone, you write down all the tasks that uses the phone. So for example, message mom about upcoming birthday appointment, message sister about getting flowers, message brother about getting chocolates. 
And then when you go through that tasks list with that specific thing that you need, like the phone, then it becomes a more efficient use of your time because you are batching everything together. And then there can be different things, right? Like phone, calls, errands, work, emails. And when you classify things like that, it becomes easier to batch clear things rather than to go through things like one at a time and then finding yourself in a state of non-flow. As you go through these three productivity advices given in David Allen's book about using a two-minute rule, having a mind split and putting everything onto paper, and last but not least, about categorizing tasks according to their respective categories and things where you will do them, like phone, calls, emails, computer. I'm sure that this will help you to be more productive. There's a caveat though, because when you look at David Allen's book, he doesn't actually differentiate between the shallow work and the deep work. Today, as a millennial, you probably have a faint idea about where your deepest value at lies. And as a young person looking to start work, you need to know where your strengths lie and where your value at lies. And in Carl Newport's book, Deep Work, he talks about how your deep value comes from the work that a person who is not trained is not able to do. For example, today, if you were a doctor, your deep value doesn't come in messaging people about their upcoming appointments. It comes in being able to assess, treat, and find the right diagnosis for the person. It comes in being able to scaffold the support so that the person will get better. That is where your deep value and your deep work lies. Today, as a young person, if you are looking to be more productive, don't just focus on the process, but focus on you. Focus on what you can give and where your deep value lies. And over time, focus on growing that base of skills so that you become more skillful and not necessarily producing more work without producing better work. And so today, in thinking about productivity, don't just think about quantity, but think about the quality of work. Think about where your deep value at lies. Think about where your deep work lies. And today, think about being a skilled Olympian. Be the best in class in your field. I hope this helps and let me know what was the most difficult thing for you in implementing the productivity advice that you've had over the years. Let me know in the comments below. And remember, just subscribe. <laughs>